Hi guys, thanks for stopping back to my channel. Today I have a fun haul video to share with you guys. She is a new to me vendor. Um, her name is Lindsay, I believe, and her company is called Ava's Country Covered. Um, as you can see, I have all the tarts laid out in front of me that I purchased and they are just adorable. They are some of the cutest shapes and just very, very, um, just very, very cute. So I'm going to go through each of the things that I've purchased and I'm going to tell you how many ounces and how much they are priced, okay? So I'm going to start with the samples. She gave me three free samples, which was really, really awesome. So this first one I have here is Sweet Almond Bread. It's a cute little donut shape. I'll pull it out for you guys. I mean, this shape is just adorable. Like, perfect for one melt. Like, that is so cute, right? Um, her almond kind of smells like pistachio because it's kind of like cherry. But almond, I don't understand why pistachio smells like cherry because almond extract smells like cherry. So shouldn't almond scent smell like cherry instead of pistachio? I don't know. That's just, that's just me. But yeah, this smells really, really good. I'll definitely melt this. And then this next one is called True Love's Kiss. I do have the scent description for you guys. Um, I'm glad I didn't get this one. I was going to get this one in like a bigger size, but I decided not to um, because of the floral, floral notes. <clears throat> but here's the tart, and I'm going to read you the scent description. It's berries, coconut milk, roses, violets, musk, French cream, and vanilla bean. And yeah, you definitely uh, get the, you definitely get some sort of floral. I think the rose stands out the most maybe, but I'm definitely getting um, the coconut milk and the berries with some vanilla. It's not a terrible scent. It actually smells kind of good. So yeah, I'm interested to melt that one and see how it performs. So let me just stick that back inside the bag real fast. <clears throat> Alright, and the last sample I received is in Vanilla Frosted Grams. I couldn't find a scent description for this one. But it smells like vanilla with like a cinnamon grain cinnamon graham cracker it's not um very cinnamony it's like a bakery cinnamon cinnamon instead of like a red hot it's really nice and it's like a subtle subtle cinnamon scent this is really really nice all right so i'm just gonna start up here in the left hand corner Sorry if you guys can hear that noise, that's the garage door. So I pulled all the shapes out, just so I don't have to open the bags again. But this first one is Ultimate Sugar Cookie. These are her 7 ounce paw print tarts. They are 850 and they're 7.5 ounces in here. So here's what they look like. They're very, very cute. I was really excited to get some of these paw prints because I think they're super cute. <laughs> So I'm just going to smell the bag here. Um, yeah, so it's just like a sugar cookie scent. It's not my favorite sugar cookie, I don't think. I think it would smell better, like, blended with something. Like a strawberry, which I have over here. This little tart here. But, um, it's good. I think it needs to cure longer as well. But, um, it smells decent for just being poured. Okay, and the next set of things I want to talk about are these um, parts here. I have, and her wax is pear soy, but it definitely feels more soy because it's kind of like more on the melty side. But this next scent is in Caramel Pretzel Bar. These are her two pack of wax tarts. They're just like miscellaneous, like random scents or random like uh, shapes that you can get. Um, I got two prim, prim tarts in this one. 
and they are two fifty, and you get two ounces. So caramel pretzel bar it smells delicious. It is literally the scent description is chocolate covered pretzel bar. <laughs> Yeah, this just smells so freaking delicious. I've never had a chocolate scent. I didn't know this was going to be chocolatey, so I just found that out today. But I am super excited because it smells really, really good. But this is what the shape looks like. It's very cute. I'd probably cut that in half. And then the other set of hearts that I got are over here. <clears throat> Same price. <clears throat> And I just got Prim Hearts for my random tart. But, <coughs> excuse me. This is in Bumbleberry Smoothie. Now, this one, I wrote Bumbleberry, what Bumbleberry is on the back. So, Bumbleberry is top notes of blackberry, apricot, and strawberry. With middle notes of sweet pear, lavender, and jasmine. And a bottom note of earthy woods. And then the smoothie scent. So, oh. Alright, so here's what the tart looks like. I'm going to be sniffing the bag. This one smells really, really nice. I think I pick up the berries the most. Um, the blackberry and the strawberry. I think I might get some of that lavender and jasmine in there, but not, not too strong. This one doesn't smell super floral to me, and I'm happy about that. And then I get kind of like a milkiness from that smoothie. It's pretty good. That one smells nice. Alright, and the next set of tarts we're going to talk about are her pinwheel tarts. These are $3, and they're 2.5 ounces total. So this first one I have is in I Dream in Pink. This was an accidental purpose. This is what the tarts look like. They're very cool. This is an accidental purpose because I read the scent notes and instead of saying just pink sugar, she wrote out what pink sugar is. So it's like raspberry jam, cotton candy, there's like maple syrup in there. So I was thinking, oh, like that sounds really, really good, but it's actually just pink sugar. So this is just a pink sugar scent. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. I might just melt it when I, I don't know when I'm going to melt that one, honestly, but it's okay. And I'm also going to let her wax cure for a month, just because, to be safe. This next pack of, oh god, I'm sorry. This next pack of pinwheel tarts is in caramel pear biscotti. There wasn't a scent description on this one, but I'm guessing it's just caramel pears and like a biscotti cookie. This one smells really nice. You definitely get that pear first. With like a subtle bakery in the background. This one's really, really nice. Kind of smells like a more of a fresh pear, but I'm sure that'll go away after it's cured a while. And then this next one of these pinwheel tarts is in Spiced Coquito. Um, if you don't know what Coquito is, it's like a, <clears throat> it's like a eggnog, but it's a little different. I don't know. It has coconut milk. <clears throat> oh, I couldn't get a scent description for this one either. But I know that um, Coquito is like milky, so I think it has coconut milk or uh, condensed milk, some type of milk in there. Um, I've actually had it before and it is super yummy. So I wouldn't say this smells like Coquito, but it does smell like an eggnog type scent. Yeah, it smells really, really nice. Um, I don't know how to explain this one really. Other than like a semi-spicy sweet milk with like an alcohol note. I definitely pick up on some alcohol in there. <laughs> so that was Spice Coquito. I wouldn't have had the scent description, but she didn't put one on the website. Uh, next up, we have two of these snowflake tarts. These are two seventy-five, dollars and they are two ounces total. Um, I got mine in Vanilla Valentine. This is what they look like. They're very cute. So Vanilla Valentine is just creamy vanilla bean with musk. And it smells really, really good. I just smell like a nice creamy vanilla. 
It smells good. I like this one. Very simple, but it smells good. Uh, okay. And then this last tart I have is the best one in the whole bunch, I think. This is her extra large waffle tart. It is $4.50 and it's just under 4 ounces. So I got mine in the scent Strawberry Ultimate Sugar Cookie. Look how cute this is. That is so adorable. But funny story about this. The whole reason I placed my order is because I wanted this scent. And I kept trying to add it to my cart and it would not let me. It said it was um, not available or something. So I was like, alright, I guess I'm not going to get it. So I checked out, paid for all this other stuff. And then I went back on the website and I added it to my cart and it was there. So I checked out. Luckily, luckily for me, without even knowing, she does combine shipping, which is so awesome. So that's another thing about Ava. She combines shipping. So if you just let her know that you placed two orders, she will um, get you a refund for your extra shipping that you paid. All of these things were over. It was like 25 25 was my end total. So I did not have to pay shipping. So I got my 350 back for the shipping that I paid on this, which is really awesome. But this one is just a really awesome strawberry sugar cookie scent. Um, it is amazing. It's one of the best strawberries I've ever smelled. So yeah, I'm super happy with this one. I also forgot to tell you guys that on the back of the bags, oh, well, I guess not on the sample bags, but on the back of the bags, um, she includes the pour date, which is, which is, I, which I think is just really, really nice and, um, you know, saves us time so we don't have to write it on ourselves. So she does include the pour date on there. So overall, my overall opinions on Ava's is that I think uh, things smell very strong and delicious on cold sniff. Uh, I definitely think I would place a second order with her without even having melted this stuff yet. Um, I'll definitely melt it about a month from now and see um, about any throws I get. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!